to talk about today is um, the focus on the relationship between the patient and the doctor and um, how we'd like to solve um, um, a slew of problems that, are, that, are, that everybody's faced with on a personal level with regards to um, that particular healthcare relationship. Um, typically distance, proximity, access to physicians, etc. So um, what we provide is a remote platform, that's what we built, um, to um, uh, facilitate the, um, uh, how do you call this, the um, bridge uh, consultation experience between a patient and a doctor. Um, our tagline is healthcare anywhere. Um, I guess you got that, it's pretty simple. <laughs> so we'll go to the next slide. What I want to do is show a short video that pretty much explains what we built. Right. No one about the time and distance in which you call one's and friends. What is this easy to consult with your doctor? That makes it possible to consult with Itself. And uh, um, 
just to give the doctor as much information as possible. Uh, family medical history, um, existing allergies, pre-existing conditions, so on and so forth. We are also implementing a DICOM manager and viewer. Um, this solution actually was born out of a real uh, experience. Um, a lot of us are in the team are, are football players and athletes, and we always have a problem with um, uh, ACL. So, yeah, and um, some of us actually have uh, experience trying to consult with a local uh, doctor here, but at the same time trying to get a second opinion with a physician in, in uh, the States. So this is particularly useful in that um, PCL, sorry. So we've implemented that. We're putting the finishing touches on on, on Dicon viewer. Um, MRI, CT scan, CT scan is something that uh, we're, we're, we're trying to work on because that, that's got a different rendering uh, technology requirement. Um, and of course the uh, radiology images that, that was mentioned before, it's, it's, that, that's all available in DICOM format. One, another feature that we'd like to um, uh, implement as soon as possible is the online prescription. Um, this can be made available as a hard copy or perhaps on, on the phone. We're trying to, um, maybe we can work together with Peru and try to make this happen. Uh, and the wearables. So we're plugging into the health device um, APIs that are out there. Um, in the past couple of months, you've seen a, lot, a bunch of products coming out uh, from uh, I Health, Withings, uh, Jabra and of course uh, the iPhone. Um, if you remember the uh, patient profile that I showed you, these devices should be able to push the cloud and then Medify will be able to gather all that information storing your, your medical profile. Um, we did a field trip to uh, Stanford um, a month ago and uh, we learned a bunch of things. First of all, Stanford has a uh, very mature incubation innovation lab that, that, that they've had for, I think, about uh, two years already. And one thing we've learned, we've learned aside from this is that, you're right, uh, there's like a thousand medical or med tech companies that go through there. Um, so this space is getting really crowded. I'm happy that we're here in the Philippines, okay, because we're pioneers here, but you know, it's really not, it's not new. One thing we learned though, is that the whole real-time paradigm of um, remote consultation is good for on paper, but in the, at the end of the day, everybody's moving towards asynchrony. It's um, not real-time interaction between the doctor and the patient. So forwarding uh, uh, medical files, leaving messages you know, with, with your doctor, it's, it's really an asynchronous communication rather than a face to face all the time because you cannot expect the doctor to be waiting right in front of the, the computer waiting for the person to call. But that, that might happen, but you know um, reality sets in and you know time zone problems, etc. And then this comes to play. Yeah. Launch timeline. We've we've already started to onboard some doctors. Uh, we're doing close beta with their patients. And we're trying to um, uh, tweak the feature set to, to make it um, really useful for both sides. On January, we're going to do a close demo launch with, um, with the people that have signed up on the website for, to participate in that, that uh, program. And by Feb, we should have a public demo already. This is already built. Um, we've tested it. And so far, so good. The new feature rollout will be uh, done as, uh, around the same time as the, as the, the public beta. So we should expect all these features to just go online as, as the public sees it. Um, that's the team. Um, Freddy Gonzalez, the CEO. Um, he's a football player as well who had to, that's the MRI image of his knee. Myself, um, some of you know me from uh, Cloud, everyone access, 
and Lajaraj, and we are CEO, our CEO, COO. Thank you very much.